We're going to Luke, the 15th chapter. I'm going to read for you verses 11 through 19. Just want you to be aware that the Lord God himself has given me a, a quick mini-series, gave me three messages from this familiar passage. Amen. And I'm just going to give you first message on this morning. So you should be at Luke, the 15th chapter. I'm going to read for you verses 11 through 19. Amen. If you're there, keep looking. If you're not, I'm going to pray. Father God, Thank you, Jesus. let the very words of my mouth Thank and the you. meditation of my heart, God, be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. For Father God, I'm excited that if my words are acceptable to you, that they shall be acceptable to your people. This is my prayer in Jesus' name, and I say amen. 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 Luke, the 15th chapter, yeah. reading for you verses 11 through 19, and it says, And he said, uh -huh. A certain man had two sons. Yes. Yes. And the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion yes. Yes. of goods that falleth to me. Uh -huh. And he divided unto them his living. Uh -huh. And not many days after the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country. Yeah. And there wasted his substance with riotous living. Oh, yeah. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in the land, yes, yes. and he began to be in want. Uh -huh. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country. Yes. And he sent him into his fields to feed swine. Oh and when he had would fain have filled his belly with the husk mm. that the swine did eat, mm. and no man gave unto him. And when he came to himself, mm -hmm. he said, how many hired servants of my fathers have bread enough mm -hmm. and to spare? Uh -huh. And I perish with hunger. Yeah, yeah. What the Lord has given me for a subject on this morning is I was broke, mm -hmm. busted, and disgusted. Oh, Amen. From this, God gave me, I was broke, yeah. busted, and disgusted. You may have your seats in the presence of the Lord. As I said, this is a, a short parable, and most of us are familiar with it. But I'm just going to preach it to you on my opportunities of preachable moments in three segments. So this morning it is, I was broke, busted, and disgusted. And the one word I want you to focus on is was. Not am, but was. In this text, the prodigal son asks his father for the money his father is supposed to leave to him after his father has died. So basically, the son is saying to his father, I wish you were dead already. I wish you were dead right now. So give me what's mine. And we know that 1 Timothy 6 and 10 says, For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierce themselves through many sorrows. Uh -huh. Well, that verse pretty much sums up my whole message. Well. But I'm going to preach it anyway. Because I feel already in my spirit. Uh -huh. I feel and add I was praised. Yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead to my three points. Go ahead, go ahead. My first point based on this message yeah, yeah. is to speak prophetically uh -huh. I was broke. Uh -huh. Speak prophetically yeah. in your own life. Yeah. I was broke. Uh -huh. See the 14th uh -huh. verse said, and when uh -huh. he had spent all, uh -huh. there arose a mighty famine in the land. Uh -huh. And he began to be in want. Yes, sir. He spent all uh -huh. he had. Uh -huh. Which means 
he is broke. Yeah, yeah. Today, his rises looks like this. Spending your money on fast cars, uh -huh. fast women, uh -huh. drugs and clubs, and the like thereof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, just sin for living. Yeah, yeah. When his money runs out, uh -huh. his friends, uh -huh. his ride or die, yeah, yeah. his boys, his homies, uh -huh. they walk off and they leave him behind. Yeah, uh -huh. His bae, yeah. his boo, uh -huh. even the side chick is gone. Uh -huh. well, I ain't saying uh, she's a gold digger, uh -huh. but she ain't messing with a broke. Uh -huh. well, uh -huh. I don't use the N word, uh -huh. <laughs> but we know she's broke, but he's broke. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. He no longer has any money yeah. to pay them to stay around him. All right. uh -huh. He has not saved any money for a rainy day like our parents have taught us. Uh -huh. And he's basically thinking when it rains, it pours. Yeah, yeah. So, but not only is he broke, but there is a mighty famine in the land. For him, it has gone from bad to worse. He cannot buy his way out of this. He begins to be in want. See, he needs some help. But he is unwilling yeah. to ask his father, whom he knows can provide. Uh -huh. His situation does not immediately cause him to go back to his father. Come on yeah. now, come on. Sometimes shame and guilt, it will cause us not to ask those people that can help us. Because yeah. uh -huh. we don't want to hear them say, I told you yeah. so. Uh -huh. Sounds like some of us. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like the sinner man who can commit sin after sin yes, and after sin and still will not turn to Father God. Yes, just like some of us. Yes, as long as we got money, yes, uh -huh. got a good job, uh -huh. got roof, a roof over our heads, yes. we don't need God. At least that's what we think. Uh -huh. But God is the source of our resources. Yes, and we're Father God. Yes, we are going to go from I am broke uh -huh. to I was broke. Yes, because we're going to speak with prophecy glory, glory. over our own life. Yes, we're going to say I was broke. Yes. Give God a I was praise. Yes. Say hallelujah. I was. Yes. I'm going on to number two. I need for you to speak confidently. Yeah, yeah. I was busted. You want to speak this thing confidently. Yeah. I was broke. Yeah. I mean busted. Not I am, but I was busted. Yeah. Verse 15 says, and when he went and joined himself to the citizen of the citizen of that country. And he sent him into the field yeah. to feed swine. Well, that he is busted. Uh -huh. That is to say, he has been demoted. Yeah. Uh -huh. He has been reduced. Yeah. Uh -huh. He has been downgraded. Yeah. He is no longer the owner's son. God, He's no longer the heir. Uh -huh. He's been written out of the wheel. Uh -huh. And he is just now a measly old field hand. Uh -huh. He no longer gets to pick and choose where he gets to work. Uh -huh. But at least he has sense enough to get a job. Yes, well, well. Ooh, thank God. Has sense enough yes. to get a job. Yes, Sometimes okay. we think saying we're working on ourselves. Uh -huh. To get saved makes sense. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But I got real talk for you this morning. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All the while your goal is to stay in sin. Uh -huh. Now you've been busted. Uh -huh. But shout glory anyway. Glory. He is now in control of the boss man. Uh -huh. When he didn't want his father to control him, he just 
change partners and he got a boss man that is controlling him now. So he's right back where he started as if he was with his father. But now he has to feed the swine, the pigs, the hogs. We know how that hog truck smell when it just goes by the road. But he is right there in the thick of it. He has to feed the swine. So he has to now do things he never thought he would do. See, Jews, they're not supposed to eat pork. And not only are they not supposed to eat pork, they're not supposed to touch the unclean pig. And here, this prodigal son finds himself smelling how the pig smell. It's all in his nose. And I went on to say that if there was a raid in this field, the police would arrest him for being a Jew and touching pigs. He would have been busted. See, this is what sin will do for you. The Bible says in Romans 7 and 21, I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. See, he was busted, demoted. And sometimes we are like that too. Yeah. Yes. Where we thought we were. Yeah. We are made low. Because yeah, yeah, sometimes yeah. we'll do something and we're going to get caught. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And we're going to get busted. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. That we can speak with confidence. Uh-huh. When we turn to God. Uh-huh. That I was busted. Uh-huh. I was busted. Uh-huh. 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 We got some hallelujahs for an I was praise right there. I'm going on to number three. Speak. Speak. Assuredly. Thank you, Jesus. I was, I was. I was. Disgusted. disgusted. Speak. Yeah, yeah. Assuredly. Uh-huh. I was disgusted. I was. Verse 16 said, and when he would fail. Uh-huh. have filled his belly with the hucks oh, that the swine, the pigs did eat, uh-huh. and no man will give unto, give unto him. Yes, when he got shown up hungry, when his gut started to growl, mm-hmm. when his stomach fell to his back ribs, oh, no. when the hucks that the pigs were eating, some of us might call that pig slop today, uh-huh. He started looking at that pig slop. Started looking good to him. That pig slop, cause he was hungry, thank you brother Joshua, but started looking good to him. And he was almost there. He was gonna taste it and see if it was good. He was really, really disgusted with himself. And when I'm talking about getting ready to join the pigs for dinner, it sounds disgusting. Matter of fact, it sounds nasty. But this is where the prodigal son had found himself. And see, sometimes we can get disgusted with ourselves too because of our choices that we made. See, he is broke and at this point he's busted because of his own poor choices that he made. That's right. He's disgusted because his used to be friends don't want nothing to do with him because he don't have any money anymore. But when we need something, we consider doing the worst things. Some of us, we've even thought about committing suicide. Some of us have recognized that we are depressed. We have even thought about walking out on our family. We thought about walking out on our spouse. We thought about leaving our children behind. And some of our men haven't even walked in their children's life and they've already walked 
out That's of their children's life. Jesus. But when you're disgusted, mm. you can do the worst things possible. That's right. That's right. We have thought about it. Uh -huh. We sometimes feel like throwing in the towel. Oh, as if we're in a boxing match. And those of us that are familiar with boxing, we know the people over in our corner, our coaches, when they see us losing, they take the towel and throw it in. Uh -huh. And some of us got people in our corner. Uh -huh. They're telling us to give up. Give up. They're telling us to quit. Yeah. Because they get ready to throw the towel on, on you. Uh -huh. And so the prodigal son is disgusted. He doesn't have anybody to lean on. And not only do we start thinking about suicide and other things, when we get disgusted, we start relying on the bottom. Some of us know it as alcohol. Or we start relying on the pills. Some of us know it as amphetamines. And we know there are other drugs that are out there, but some of us, we can't even stay off the weed. Okay. Or the nicotine. Uh -huh. But we're disgusted with our situations. And we need to turn to God, but we are turning to other things. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now that the prodigal son is in this position, uh -huh. he is at the lowest of lows. Yeah. Because he doesn't have a single soul Come on now. Come on. that would help him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't have anybody concerned about what's going on with him. Yeah, yeah. He is disgusted because when he had given people money, yeah, yeah. when he had it, he was giving and spending. Uh -huh. You know how sometimes you loan people money uh -huh. and they get their income tax check. And you're the last person they think about. I got a witness over here in Mother Smith. They don't remember you no more. And they won't even pay you back. You know how when you got a car, they riding with you. But when your car break down they, and they've been blessed with enough, they won't give you a ride. But the prodigal son... He got all of this going on in his life, and some of us got that going on in our life too because we are disgusted. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. But you got to speak with assurance. Uh -huh. yeah. You got to say to yourself, I was. I was. I was, I was. disgusted. disgusted. Yeah. And we're going to have an I was praise. Uh -huh. Go ahead and shout glory. 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 So he is broke, glory. he is busted. Uh -huh. And he is disgusted. Uh -huh. But verse 17 uh -huh. said, and when he came to himself, uh -oh. when he came to himself, uh -oh. when he looked at his situation, when he saw what was going on with him, he looked at the series of events that was going on in his life. And he came to himself. In essence, he said, and he got ready. He said, I'm going to be, I'm going to be able to say I was, I was. Broke. Broke. What, bro? I was. Broke. I was busted. And I was disgusted. Yes, but he can say, but I feel I got an I was praise. Oh, he said, I can say hallelujah because hallelujah. that's going to be my past. Because he came to himself. And right now, some of us, we need to come to ourselves too. God's going to give us a, a come to Jesus experience. He's going to give us a come to yourself experience. And some of us need one, not in two, and three experiences that we need to come to ourselves. So he's thinking this. Because when he thought he had everything, he didn't think he needed his father. But when his resources ran out, when his resources ran out, the resources of the land ran out too because it became a mighty family. We can be the same way. When we got money, we got a car, we got a job, we got a house. We don't think we need God either. Some of us, we're not going to pray. Until our child gets sick. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Some of us, we're not going to come to church well, until it's a wedding or a funeral. Uh -huh. Some of us are going to ignore that we need God uh -huh. until we have a come to Jesus experience. Well, until we have a come to ourselves experience. Well. So I'm trying to help you because when we are broke, broke. that's when God can use us. Yeah. Yeah. That's when God can use us. Yeah. See, when you don't have no more resources, well. that's when God can use you. Because you don't have no other choice but to depend on God. And see, God can strip, strip you of everything that you have. He can strip you of everyone in your life. You know, those people that were praying for you that you kept running to when you kept sinning. He can remove them out of your life so that you can get your own prayer life. When you got that job, some of us, we get broke, busted, and disgusted and get depressed when we lose our job. But that's the time God can use you. That's the time your faith can be activated. Because you can say, I was broke, busted, and disgusted. One thing about this I want you to get, and I want, if you don't get nothing else, I want you to get this right here. God did not allow he didn't. the famine uh -uh. to come no. until the uh, prodigal damn. son right. has spent all that he oh, had. Yeah. Let, me, let me say it again. Yeah. God did not allow yeah. the famine to come uh -huh. until the prodigal son yeah. has spent all that he had. Oh, I want you to get this. Because if he had his money, when the famine came, you got a mother bread. If he still had his money, when the famine came, he could have brought himself out of that situation. He could have paid everybody. He could have brought their food. He could have brought their water. If his money had not ran out. And see, that's what God does. He removes everything. everything. When he wants you to turn back to him, yes. he's going to remove every yes. resource uh -huh. that you have in your life because God don't want you to get it twisted. He don't want you to think, oh, my mama gave me a loan. Uh -huh. my, my, my daddy let me drive his car. Uh -huh. Oh, my, my sister, she let me move in with her. Uh -huh. God is going to remove every resource uh -huh. that you possibly have so that when you tell your testimony, you're going to have to say that God did it. God did it. They ask you who did it. You're going to say God did it. That's what the importance that I got out of this when you are broke, busted, and disgusted. Uh-huh. That you don't need to get discouraged. Oh no. You need to get encouraged. Yes, because you need to get yourself ready and in position to know that God is getting ready to use you. God is getting ready to give you a testimony. Yes. Because it works like this. Thank you, God. The prodigal son. Uh-uh. He wasn't the only one that had a ride to his lifestyle. Uh -huh. No, no, no. no it wasn't. He wasn't the only one. No, no. And some of us, we got to ride this lifestyle. And I said what it looked like. It looked like fast cars, fast women. And we get some fast men too. It looked like some drugs and some clubs. But God can remove all of that out of your life. And I'm getting ready to show up to go to my seat. Because, like I said, on our resume, if we went back and listed what we had done, because uh -huh. we get all tripped up what the prodigal son has done, uh -huh, uh -huh. but show the prodigal son your resume. That's right. And the prodigal son can look at you and see that y'all had some similarities. Uh -huh. But what you need to do is be like the prodigal son and have a come to yourself moment. And start speaking in the prophetic. I was broke. And start speaking into your life with purpose. I was busted. Speak the talk, call them those things that be not as though they were. And say, I was disgusted. And say, I got an I was 
praise. Mm. Because some of you may know that I was praised like this. Uh -huh. It's a familiar song yeah, that says, yeah. I once was lost. Yeah. Yeah. But I once was lost. Was lost. Yeah. But now I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. I was blind. Yeah. I was, was blind. blind. But now, but now I see. I, see. I was weary. Yeah. Wounded. Let me say that again because y'all we've been singing that song and you didn't know it was an I was praise in there. Yeah. I was yeah. weary. Yeah. I was, I was. Wounded. wounded. I was, I was. sad. Yeah. But I found yeah. in him yeah. a sweet old resting place. Yeah. And he And he 